Hello and welcome, my friends. We are playing as the Moth Swarm. We can actually quite see our insignia, our name of the Empire in space, much better right now because we did take a bit more territory over here. Now, with this war over, we can finally get our other fleet to upgrade and just head over to Gore. Once the fleet is over here, we will upgrade this fleet back to a normal design. And then it is time to start pushing like absolutely crazy. We will have to change some of these stations because we are over our capacity. It only does do something to our energy. So it's not the biggest deal. Also, when we have more alloys, uh, we are going to be building our third fleet. So I'm looking very much forward to that. Also, I am still in need of a lot of names. So if you want to be in this series and you are not yet in it, let me know in the comment section, write me a comment, press that thumbs up, whatever. Get the series more noticed, that would be definitely a big ass plus because we need them, we need those names because we can't have Anonymous flying a the third fleet, right? It's not how this game works. Not for me anyways. So we're building up this fleet over here, we got a very nice present in there. Let's see, what are you doing? So you're researching, you are researching, you are done. Okay, uh, we don't have this yet, do we? No. We can go ahead and take these two systems. We don't need them, but we could use them. So why not, right? Why the hell not? Also, I want the station in here. Maybe even more important than having the station in here. But like I said, I don't usually go ahead demolishing stations and stuff like that during a war since it will yeah well get a bit down on my naval cap and I want to boost out that new fleet so we'll change the location of this station to here I will keep this station in the future and some of these eventually will have to go there's there's too many over here and this station itself actually we could downgrade it like right now we don't need it. Oh, there's an alloy. <laughs> That's great. That's good news. Go here, mining and research. We'll take that on. So we're going to be waiting here for the other fleet. And yes, he is there. So let's send you off to the enemy. We'll see if that fleet is there. I don't think it is. And it's still a anchoring station. So that's not doing anything. You're still superior and equivalent. You really hate me, but I don't care. You are food. I don't worry about my food. Carrier operations plus 10. Physics research and engineering research. That's quite nice. That fleet has been upgraded. Once this station falls, we'll change them back. Uh, we can actually do that already. Just go ahead and just say, go to the normal design. 20 and 50 and yeah we'll wait until that fleet is over here before starting a new one also how expensive is upgrading we will re wow we will be refunded that's a weird thing to say how so oh my what changed it's the iron truster um Supply speed plus 10, and evasion, and what will this change? Base ship speed and chance to evade. So, where's the speed? It's uh, 176, 200. This is a viable thing to do. We'll have to change this one back. We can actually remove the, um, the no armor thing. Let's see. We Do we want to stay... With a limited amount of armor. We might want to change this back. Like this. So like that. How is this one? The design is pretty okay. I like to have more shields than anything else. Eventually the corvettes are going to be missile boats. Because that's just brilliant. Having fast ships. To throw out missiles. Like there's nothing else to do. So let's delete this design. Yeah we still haven't worried about this at all. And uh, we don't have to. Uh, the likeliness of me actually building big ass defensive stations is is not too big. I usually don't even use them. I like to be overwhelming with my fleets. 
So we can actually upgrade in Gore, and we're going to be doing that over there, if you don't mind. It's a small upgrade. Actually, just, just go ahead and, and go over there. And we'll have to stay around over here. We can actually change one of these into a shipyard. So we can actually do the upgrades over here. That is something that we can do. And we have a new contact. It's great. Mm. Is there any more? Any more? Any more things to... Uh, no. So all that is remaining is over here. So that's quite nice. Okay. Research agreement. We don't care about. And we're starting to get... Look, they are still equivalent. That will change. This will change at the minute we build that third fleet. And they're still expanding. They're like, yeah, we don't we don't care about this uh, this fleet at all. We are just going to be expanding. And that's good. Because I want to push over to this location, which is a very nice station. It's a very nice system as well. Very nice choke point. There definitely has to be a station in there. And we will build it. And uh, we'll have to build one over here as well, right? Yeah. And then we'll push on. And I want to go all the way in here. And there will be a connection with this empire, which is equivalent. So I don't think they will declare war upon us. Actually, they are currently at war with... With whom? It's an unknown species. So they're warring over here. Or over here. But if... This seems to be like... No, there definitely is a war going on in this direction. And you're warring with them, aren't you? No, you're not. Well, we that's... That is fine. Simulated knowledge, we got a rivalry, declaration, oh my. Nobody cares about that. So here we go, we got a fleet incoming. Let's take a look what is technology in here. A new technology, destroyer, cost and building speed. Let's pause here. Uh, armor, housing, cruisers... Yeah, it has to be the cruisers. I would like armor, but upgrading new ships, that's just brilliant. That is just brilliant. So let's take a look. So who is insulting me? Why? What have I done to you? I've not eaten you yet. Go away. Mm. Take the jump. 28 days. Just reclaim the system. The planet is still mine, so I'm happy about that. Oh, that's it. Uh, this is just it. Oh, well. That's fine. So, once this fleet is over here, we're going to be retrofitting back to the latest design with the other fleets. Actually, this fleet first and then the other fleet, because he'll go to Gore and we still have a defensive presence over here. We do need to get these planets under our control. Uh, so we can keep growing. Growth is so important for a hive. There's three planets here that we could take, and we should. Yeah, this, this 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 thing will fall like there's nothing else to do. Let's take a quick look here. Look at how they swarm it. I love that. I really love that about this game. I think it's also the thing that makes this game so... Uh, how do you say it? Like, laggy at some point. How did we get debris over there? There was nothing there. Oh, well, makes no sense. So, here we go. And reinforce. So, he'll go to Gore. Once you are done, go here and research that. Yeah, we did lose one from our own dest... We got research from our own destroyer? That makes zero sense to me. All of this looks fantastic. Oh yeah, that's the, the other one. Actually, shall we... Let's just go back. Let's just do this now, now, right now so we can actually start focusing on the other fleet. It's probably going to be a similar design. Like 20 and 10. Eventually I would like to have... I, I usually go with halves. I'm not sure if that is a good thing though. Um, but I like because these Corvettes are just cheap. And you can build them really fast. Which is very nice. So they are going to be upgraded. And they are going to be upgrading. Uh, disruptors plus 20% which is quite nice. We are lacking energy. Not a problem. It will change eventually. It's just population growth. Um, we need to have more armies. Let's make 10. 
So construction there is complete, which is cool. We'll just wait and see until uh, there are some peoples to do anything with. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of... And actually, no, we're actually losing quite a bit of alloys. Okay, you go back in here. And this time we're going to be pushing forward with both of our fleets. Uh, we should be getting alloys back. Although I don't see that happening. So, what's your problem? Unemployment. Um, we got research here. We could actually get some more unity. No, we can't. Our empire doesn't know how to make unity. Well, that's quite odd. We need energy the most. We can probably build something to boost that. No, we can't. Not yet. Eventually, uh, there will be something. Mm, this will produce unity. Mm, so, personally, I would go with more research. Uh, because there's a, there's a lot of districts over here that we can actually use. Also, we should start boosting into our sector managements just to get those tile blockers out because I think that's the most annoying thing that I have to do manually. So that fleet is back. This fleet is... I'm hoping almost done. Yeah, that goes pretty smoothly. Look at that, it's still a thousand to go. We have the drone campaign. Mm, population growth speed I like. Improve energy initiative. That's the one that also got away, right? Yes. Maybe we should go with leader experience gain. Like, we're making a lot. Uh, army damage? Sure, why not? We're, we're making it anyway, so who cares? Improving energy initiative. We can sell more food for alloys. The repairs are done. I, I didn't know they needed repair, though. So, fleets are building up. Okay, so they're done. Let's uh, go. Oh, you were not done. You lied. Why did you lie? Negative five. Yeah, well, we'll fix that. There's probably just unemployment, like over here. We're making six food. So we're almost, almost to a point. And actually, if we go to species, um, you can see that is still species being devoured. Uh, only 12 though, so we are lacking food. We are lacking food. So we definitely need to keep an eye on that. We need uh, to get these planets under control. Actually, before doing anything. Technology. Let's get these planets under our control. So that's three more planets. I'm going for the green planets first due to growth speed. And later I will go and aim for the uh, the lesser adequate as well. We got a gene modification point, which is uh, very nice. Military Academy. Now then it's when... This is when it starts to become interesting to... Build up your planets with uh, naval based military academies because it will just boost out your naval cap. Uh, but for now, we should focus on some of these um, tile blockers. Mm, this base is still viable. This base is not an. If, if I needed a base in this area, personally, I would go here. And here, not this part. Most likely just over there. Just because it's next to Seoul. So, once we have more population, we definitely... Actually, I could just clear these out, right? Um, okay, actually, I did that one. How much money do we have? Oh, we have enough. We can always sell food. Actually, that time is almost at an end as well. Selling food. What a luxury. Isn't that just a luxury? So, let's wait until he's done and ready. He is ready right now. So, what's the big deal? 
Why are you on 2.1? You are on 2.5. Let's take a look. I don't see the difference, in all honesty. It's just the same. So it's about leader level. Chip firing rate plus 9. And plus 9 as well. Wow. Wow. Empire Sprawl... Oh, I'm a dum-dum. I'm a dum-dum. It's because of the shields. We're lacking shields. That's the reason. Uh, you. Anything we want to do over here? No. Go here and get this one. It's going to be time to push forward, lads. I'm looking forward to this. Uh, we've got a, a good amount of planets now. Um, we're building up our transports. We have a scientist who's bored... Which is never a good sign. Uh, but he will be joining after the fleet. And uh, we have a scientist that is missing. It's most likely the guy over here. Very good station. We need to keep it due to the threat down here. Uh, let's see. Negative six on energy. Let's do that. Whatever. Uh, that will save us a lot. Uh, by the time they are ready... We'll have enough population. Communications have been established. Oh, wow. With the curator order. Wow, that's just wonderful, isn't it? No. Let's go. Let's go all the way up there. Let's go to second speed. And we'll take our time. We might hop into a fleet. Now, if we can get all the way up this point, I will construct a spaceport. We also need to upgrade all of our spaceport. I also think that my alloy production should go to about 250. Our construction is complete. But we'll do that once our economy stabilizes. Yeah, this is just a fight with the station. It's not too important. It will be over in a second or so. So here we go. We're starting to push out. There will be a confrontation and we will have a fight on our hands. If that is possible with a station nearby, then that would be gorgeous. But for now, little we can do. But this is an absolutely brilliant station. Place for a station. I wonder if I can actually build it up. We'll keep our fleets here till the, the station is done. And we'll probably go and do shipyard. And the reason for a shipyard is we want to construct ships nearby. And we might even build up our third fleet over this location. Is Starbase is disabled, so we're going to be waiting here for a second. Once the Starbase is back, we're going to be upgrading it. We're waiting for a year. They are almost at 100%. I do want the Starbase. There you go. Upgrade it. This station is still very nice. Even because it's in the shield nullification. But, yeah, some of them are not... Need it. Okay, so let's downgrade you. Let's upgrade you. And you're going to stay Menkar. I would like to move you to the left, in all honesty. But this is um, Gore is my shipyard over here, right? So. Yeah, three shipyards would be very nice. Forge World. Got unemployment. Um, food and energy. Let's do some energy. You are building population. You are having a negative seven jobs by the looks of it. But that's probably due to these guys. Yes, seven. Um, let's do two districts. For food. I don't like to get low on food. There you go. There you go. That's nice. Well met. Welcome. I hope you send in more though. Because this is going to be a very short fight. For the longest period. Growing support on the Xeno rights form. Mm. Like we care. Um, also. Mapping. 
Let's create a template. Can we get merit of housing usage? Mm. Immigration would also be nice and resettlement cost. And uh, we're going to be using that really soon. Let's do it like this. Create a template. And we're going to apply this template for all of our species. Which is going to take not as long. So let's create that. 30 months. Let's go and research. And let's take a look over here. Yeah, there is little they can do. Maybe they even, they can't, oh, they, they were not able to get out. Well, most of them, which is very nice. So we're still going to hold on this location. Go. A peace deal. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? So we're going to make sure we uh, we keep these guys locked up in here. We don't want our food to go around the galaxy doing stuff that we don't like. Okay, so how are we going to deal with this planet? In all honesty, I would like to free up some of these slots. So that would mean we'll have to go build a hive and then remove this and build up food. It's a lot of stuff going on. Hive districts being there made there, that's going to build up nicely. Negative 22 is uh, quite a big deal. So let's go on with that station. These guys merge up together. I think that's the final one. Yeah, it's the final one. That one's building. This one's building. Will be over by one. And I'm actually considering removing Makar. Keeping Gore. Well, actually, removing Gore wouldn't be that bad because there is going to be a shipyard over here forge world is being done it's nice hive worn is almost done there is another fleet incoming which is just immediately jumping right on top of my guys which is good yeah you're not getting out of here mate uh, especially not now come on upgrade okay that's the next one so this fleet will fall most likely. If, yeah, they jumped out. Here we go. We, we got the station. Let's get two shipyards in there. And we'll get the ship upkeep. We also need to start working on battle simulators. Since it does give your ships a bit more experience. Look at that. They have cruisers. So now we can heal up here. This is a very nice position to have. Let's get the next one. So with that shipyard under construction, let's downgrade you. That will bring us back to 8. Then this one is done as well. You're going to be anchoring. And we'll do the others later. As for the soul system, we should actually upgrade this one. But first things first. We are going to be... Oh, I need to stop this episode for fuck's sake. <laughs> Time flies. Time actually flies, guys. Well, as a reminder for myself, let's build up a new fleet. Put in the destroyer on five. And this is the amount of alloy we are going to require. We're halfway there, but it is still going to be quite nice. Let's say reinforce all. And let's get a new leader in there. I kind of hope there was um, one that's the same though. Weapon range is also quite nice. So let's take you. He's going to be the new captain. Uh, we, You are at full strength, which is quite nice. You almost So let's make sure we got that one guy incoming. We just need one ship. One ship is all we need. Tech world is not having anything. What's your problem? You are lacking... Hmm, it's a bit of a shame though. Let's make sure this uh, will not fall down as fast. Here we go. And this is the um, the careless, careless Swarm. I like that name. 
I do like that name. Let's not reinforce until everything stops a building. We build up on alloys again. And you will see that eventually we are going to be superior to the others. And that is when they stop attacking you. And you can just plan ahead on where do we want to go. Now we almost have a complete stretch over all of the arms. And it's time to blob. And I like the blob a lot. So... For now, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Uh, don't forget, leave me a comment. Uh, leave me uh, names for anyone, anything, whatever. Just make it happen. And uh, we're going to have some fun times. Let's send you back here and, uh, and do some assisting research. We'll uh, eventually have a look on where that is the best location. So, yeah. Here we go, guys. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.